the National Social Protection Strategy, which had been endorsed last year, had been well, perfectly um, in line to the social security staircase as it has um, one objective is to promote basic social protection for the poor and vulnerable, which include formal and informal sectors. And the second, um, they also plan to uh, gradually help people how to progress um, step by step to better or well um, social security uh, or social protection uh, higher level. For instance, formal workers can enjoy with the contributory scheme of the health insurance and pension in the future. But to make sure that the strategy is uh, success in implementing, I think we have to count on other strategy. For me, I think that first we need to highlight the political will of the royal government of Cambodia. For example, we can uh, uh, convince to the public that the government has very strong political will in, in implementing the social protection flow in Cambodia. For example, the Prime Minister himself resigned over the op official launching of the strategy and he attached the uh, 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 focal and uh, strategic team of the uh, uh, National Social Protection Floor team to uh, a Prime Minister. And he also instructed the uh, uh, team to make a presentation to all uh, a provincial governor to make sure that the uh, uh, national, both national and the local uh, government agency understand the need of the na national social protection strategy. And for me, the other strategy that we can push forward is to do the uh, a cost and benefit analysis to present it to uh, the Ministry of Finance and also to the uh, development partner. Why we should do the social protection and what is the costing and what is the benefit of our program with the concrete figure of our uh, cost and benefit analysis i think we have a very uh, strong chance that our program will be uh, uh, implementable and acceptable and the other strategy maybe we have to keep the momentum of uh, uh, public awareness of the social protection by holding more uh, workshop uh, 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 by inviting uh, not only the government agency but the development partner, the employer, employee and even the civil society to get involved to make sure that no one left behind this uh, scheme. So if everybody accepts, then I think we have a strong chance that uh, we will uh, uh, successfully implement our uh, social protection floor. Talking about the sub-national administration's involvement in the social protections, especially the role of the province, districts, and communes administration in decentralized policies, they, this, the, the entities play very critical roles. So I can summarize two main roles of them. The first one is the role they implement social protection programs on behalf of the national uh, own scheme, that means the scheme officially designed by the, by the national institution ministries and, and financed by those institutions, but they cannot implement without support from the sub-national administration. They, they implement on behalf of the national institution. And second one, the second roles, they initiate their own social protection programs. For example, in Cambodia, commune sangkat, uh, commune sangkat that, that is the lowest level of administration, uh, receives uh, fund from the government transfer. So based on the fund, they uh, initiate some program 
for example, mainly on the public work programs. So for build roads, small roads, build canals, and they also spend some money on the social service as well, for example, on the health, sending the people to hospital, send, sending patients to hospitals, education, they finance primary education, something like that. So they play very critical roles in, in, uh, in decentralized policy. And in the future, when, when we extend decentralization policy, that means their role will be more increasing. And will be, and they will be have more room to play in in terms of uh, implementation of the social protection schemes. For the future, I think the Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training have to keep uh, active role in the social protection floor, especially to promote the uh, vocational training as a tool to uh, provide the skill for the poor and the nearly poor to be enable them to increase their productivity in agriculture or improve the productivity productivity in the manufacture sector that uh, they are belong to or even improve the uh, uh, time management and the cost management if they are self-employed in the informal sector so with this uh, uh, improvement we are sure that the uh, poor and the nearly poor maybe have a better chance to improve their uh, uh, employability and increase the income. Other than providing the vocational training, I think uh, now the ministry also uh, need to expand the uh, coverage of the National Social Security Fund, not only to focus on the work injury insurance, but maybe also a universal, not universal, but to the uh, 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 health insurance to the workforce who are employed in the formal sector. I think uh, it is important because some uh, workforce who work in the uh, uh, formal sector, they are work in the labor intensive sector. So they are uh, just above the nearly poor. So it's highly possibly, possibly that uh, they may become uh, poor if there is any politic, uh, any uh, economic shock, so if we provide the health insurance to those workforce, I think their uh, those workforce or their family member will be secure from any shock. And more importantly, I think the ministry also need to focus on the uh, labor market and the training uh, information to the uh, uh, rural poor in order for them to make a better decision which skill or where should they uh, looking for the employment. So with all these three components, I think uh, uh, we will uh, be able to contribute to uh, a better national social protection uh, uh, strategy in Cambodia.